Good evening. Welcome back to your future hand. My name is Julian. And right now we are looking at the Bitcoin versus US dollar chart on the daily time frame, doing exactly what we wanted it to do. Now, it did take a lot longer for us to chop it out sideways on the 200, like I was talking about for some time here, but we have done it. We've now got that bounce, hit the 200 day moving average where we were the other day, time of the last update. Now, a couple days later, as mentioned in the previous update, we got that bounce back down and now a, a quick move up and through the 200 day moving average, which is what we wanted to see. So now we wanna see this acting as support. Uh, we want that 20 day moving average to come through the 200 here as well, and now catch that as support. You can see that this line now moving down from the top here, uh, whoops, moving down from the top is now the 50 day moving average, which is gonna be the next line of resistance, in my opinion, around 52, uh, 52 dollars approximately, somewhere in there uh, on this next resistance line that we've had drawn for some time. So this was the indication of this uh, reversal pattern that we saw coming here. It was just this big lead-in phase, uh, in my opinion, this big lead-in phase that we had on this resistance line coming into this move down. So this is what I'm looking out for now. That's where the 50-day moving average was as we made this move into this correction, uh, chopping it out on the 200-day moving average and then coming back up. So what I'm looking for now is just that, uh, a retest of the 50-day moving average, uh, potentially a retest of the 20 and the and the 200. Uh, either or is good to see. Um, and we'll keep you updated. This is fantastic. So if you bought that dip, congrats to you. Uh, we're looking good again. So we'll keep you updated and catch you in the next one. Thanks and bombs.